Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages comes in. In this reading, I see the Divine Mask and there's a number of things that is not really working out in Divine Mask's favor at this time, whoever this resonates for. Um, he's finding things to be very, he has this um, very bitterness kind of, um, his mood is off. <laughs> That's what I feel like, his mood is off. Um, I feel like he is a little frustrated at this time. Um, it shows here that uh, something came to an end regarding a karmic situation. This masculine is not happy how things uh, turned out. Uh, it has a lot to do with all the work that this masculine put into this connection. And it it feels like and what I'm seeing here is something about Divine Masculine putting a lot of attention, focus on this person, a lot of um, love. They did shower love upon this person. So it's like they were giving, giving, giving. And I see here that everything they did, it's like they didn't get anything positive in return. And this Masculine's feeling very bitter about the time and energy lost in, in this connection. There's a number of things that this masculine is feeling very bitter about. And this is making him um, kind of like fall off. It's like, um, it's fall. what I'm getting is falling off track. So it's like he's not really focused on where he's supposed to be heading. Um, and he is losing balance because of that, that um, the unknown, like not knowing what 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 is to come what's next um this masculine here i see here that the, there was a chance for this masculine to reach out to this person and i feel like they're like what's the point of me trying to reconnect with this person when i don't see anything um that may change so the reason why this chance was there for masculine to reach out, I feel it was to really close off that cycle so that divine masculine would not feel this bitterness that he feels today. So if he had reached out when he was guided to reach out to this person, it's like to put full closure to that situation because I feel like there was some sort of conversation or something that was supposed to take place that is supposed to completely um show this divine masculine what this situation was and so that divine masculine can fully let go of that um clinging on to that uh, feeling that i've really uh wasted my time here it's like learning the lesson that he needed to learn in that conversation but i feel because that conversation was um, avoided by masculine I feel because of that bitterness he's like I don't want to talk to this person um, but when he um, disregarded that um, that contact I feel like this person may have um, hinted that I need to speak to you or something like that but um, 
now that he didn't um, really have that conversation that could really put this to a close, this bitterness is just going to linger for a bit. And there's an imbalance here within this masculine because he was unable to fully let go of of what what this is. I feel like the the energetic attachment to the outcome is what's um, upsetting this masculine at this time. It shows here that he will be um, intuitively guided to step forward to clear out what he needs to clear out when it comes to this uh this previous connection with this person and to help him move forward onto a new path, a new journey. Um, there's a little bit of uh, lack of strength at this time for this masculine to do. So he's not in his full power as masculine because he's still clinging on to the, the emotions attached to that loss. Um, I feel like he, it's, the word betrayal is coming to mind. He feels betrayed for not receiving what he was promised. Up ahead, I see this divine masculine. He's going to have um, a different outlook in, in life uh, when it comes to love. He will be very, kind of like very um, aware of what is before him rather than what he what he wants it's like what is fact what is reality what is before him he will be more open and in tune with what what is there rather than what he is hoping it to be because i feel like in in the past with this um karmic uh situation divine masculine no matter how much the reality was uh, was in front of masculine he imagined something else that he wished that this connection would be it's like he didn't want to see it for what it is but now when it comes to connections when it comes to relationships whatever type of relationship it may be but especially with love he will see things differently it's like what i see um what is what is present before me, I will take it as truth rather than trying to see um, something that is not really there. I feel like he tried to see the best in people, even when it was not um, reflecting in their actions or in their words, he tried to see the best in them. But now it's like, and I see here something about his new um his new look on um, love, on on relationships, it's helping him. Um, it's helping him open up to um, new possibilities. And up ahead, this masculine's heart chakra will be even more open. He will be able to see divine feminine who stands in truth. It's showing here divine feminine who stands in truth, who has always stood by truth. And this divine masculine will now see the divine feminine, divine feminine, the reality of what love is, what true love is, what um, genuine, authentic, and what devotion uh, means. Because this masculine, he overlooked a lot of, um, I feel like a lot of beautiful traits that this divine feminine holds. And now when he will start to open his up to his heart to what love really is he will he will be able to see clearly now see see um the reality what is before him and divine feminine will will help if it, it feels like divine feminine will help lead lead the light lead the light um lead the way it's like the light the light will be um shed on on the path it's like the the uh dark the dark road that this divine masculine was um, was in will be led by light that the divine feminine will shine bright on their clear on their clear path. It's like divine masculine was walking through darkness, and when divine feminine is 
is part of Divine Masculine's life. It's like she helps lead the way because she radiates the light and Divine Masculine's able to follow, to see the light and to be guided by the light. So that's what it's showing here about the power of Divine Feminine standing in her strength. Divine Masculine will be able to see the truth that Divine Feminine holds and the Divine Feminine's um, Divine Feminine who stands in integrity and with with um, pure authentic love. It shows a closing to the old way of thinking what love is and being open to a new uh, a new energy, a new a higher vibration that reflects the divine divine love. So divine feminine reflects the divine love that divine masculine will be drawn towards drawn towards the light out of the darkness. okay? One more thing I see here in this reading, something about Divine Masculine, when he goes um, within, at first it's going to take him off guard. He's going to be very um, strong, like his, his willpower. I feel like he will be very strong in what he believes, but that belief system will be, um, it's like it will his belief system needs to be released because there's a lot of things that is held within the divine masculine that I feel like very stubbornly he held on to certain beliefs that needs to be let go of so that he can be open to what the divine has to share what what other opportunities are out there and this is going to help him see an opportunity to reconnect with divine feminine and to have that restoring of the connection in the 3d to reconnect to rebuild and to start communication again it shows here also about once these two reconnect their uh, connection is going to go to the next level so whatever whatever the situation may be but divine masculine is going to take it up a notch it's like he's going to provide more into the connection give more um it's like he has a lot of divine gifts and information that he can share with divine feminine and i feel like that's going to in this case i feel like the sharing is going to happen first um then that um full on full on reunion is going to follow that so it's like first they're going to share before they have that full on reunion so this is the message um, that we have today. Hope you like this uh, reading. And if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Get, leave a thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.